بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد continuing our study of the treaties i believe this is the 18th dars of Usul Sunnah Imam Ahmed Rahimahullah Ta'ala Discussing the creed of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah We reach the portion of the treaties Where we begin to speak about the speech of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala The Quran The Quran is the divine speech of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Qali Imam Ahmed Rahimahullah Ta'ala Wal Quran Kalam Allah Wa laysa bi makhluq Wa la yudaf An yuku laysa bi makhluq فَإِنَّ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ لَيْسَ بِبَاعٍ مِنْهُ وَلَيْسَ مِنْهُ شَيْءٍ مَخْلُوقٍ Imam Ahmed rahimahullah ta'ala said, the Qur'an is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to learn that, internalize that. Even if you just know that, leaving off debate, leaving off argumentation that we always already discussed, beware of those people who make strange statements that are questionable statements and then they try, they end up tying knots around their own tongue and their own argumentation and falling into bid'ah in ways they couldn't even imagine because of a lack of knowledge and because they are debating the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah instead of just saying the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They obviously have not studied the books of the mutaqaddimin, the salaf of this ummah in order to derive their aqidah. To be careful. Beware of the people who say, well, the Quran, this mushaf you have in front of you is this, or such and such, this is not the speech of Allah, the, this is, Quran means this in Arabic. Be careful of those arguments. Wallahi, be careful, ya khwan. Come back to Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the foundations of the Sunnah. Imam Ahmed said, the Quran is the speech of Allah. It is not created. And do not say <clears throat> that, uh, or, or and don't don't say laysa bi makhluk. For verily, the speech of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is not. separate from him. It's one of his characteristics, one of the divine characteristics of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it does not contain anything which is not created. Meaning that the Quran is uh, the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning that it is uncreated and it is a part, it's one of his sifat it is from the characteristics of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sifat fi'liya. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks in a manner that suits His majesty. And however He subhanahu wa ta'ala pleases and whenever He subhanahu wa ta'ala pleases. And the Quran is the divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is uncreated and is perfect. And... Imam or Sheikh Abdulaziz al Rajihi, Hafiz Allah Ta'ala, mentioned some, fu- some fu'aid here before we even get into a, a lot of the, the evidences and, and, and text. And we'll spend some time on this because it's very important for us to have a good, solid understanding and know that this is one of the usul of Sunnah. This is one of the foundations of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah. He says, and that the Quran is the speech of Allah about the statement of uh, Imam Ahmed where Imam Ahmed said well Quran kalam Allah will laysa bi makhluk and that is not created and then Imam uh, Sheikh Abdulaziz al-Raji said yani al-Quran kalam Allah lafzuhu wa ma'nahu wa ma'nahu wa harufuhu wa ma'nihi kama dallat ala dhalik al-nusus so he said that the Quran is the speech of Allah it's uh, pronouncement and its meaning, its letters and their meanings. As
as is evidenced by the text, by the nusus. وَكَمَا أَقَرَّذَ بِذَلِكَ أَهْلُ السُنَّةِ وَالْجِمَعَةِ And Ahlul Sunnah, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, they uh, agree with that and have propagated that. That is the creed of Ahlul Sunnah from the Minhaj in the methodology of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. بِأَنَّ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ يَشْمَلْ لَفْ وَالْمَعْنَى That the speech of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala includes both the text of the the Quran and the pronouncement of the Quran and its meaning. And that Allah the Almighty speaks with speech and with his huru- with huruf, with letters and with sound which is listened to, which can be heard. This is the Quran and this is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is an obligation to believe in that in the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, kalam Allah, its letters and its sound, or, and its pronouncement, or you know, the way it's articulated, wa ma'ana, and its meaning. And this is the aqid of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And this is evidenced by the nusus, the text. So it is an obligation upon the believer to believe in that and believe that it is not created, that the Qur'an is not created and the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not created, it's from his sifat. And then the Shaykh mentioned a, a big fighter <coughs> regarding the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Kalam Allah no'an. He said, The speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is of two types. He said, The first type, Mismu' min Allahi bi wasata. Kama sami'a sahabatu kalam Allahi bi wasata bi wasata ti nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa kama yusma kalam Allahi bi wasata ti kira'atil qari. So the first type of the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that which is listened to, that which is listen, uh, heard from Allah by through an intermediary, you know, by someone in between. Similar to the way that the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum Listen to the speech of Allah by the means of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and likewise, the way the Quran, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa taala, the kalam of Allah, is heard by listening to a reciter read the Quran. So that's one of the ways, that's one of the types of the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So sometimes it's heard through an intermediary. If you listen to someone reading the Quran, you're listening to the kalam of Allah. You're listening to the speech of Allah through an intermediary. Someone else is reading it, reading the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you're listening. What you're hearing is the speech of Allah, the Almighty, Azza wa Jal. The second type, and that's imperative for us to understand because this is where you have people who have misunderstandings and they debate and argue, and may Allah forgive us and them and guide us and them, ameen, ya rabbil alameen. The second type, masmu'un min Allahi bila wasata, kama sami'a Jibra'il min Allah, wa kama sami'a Musa kalam Allah biduni wasata. وَكَمَا سَمِعَ نَبِيَنَا صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ لَيْلَةُ الْمِعْرَاجِ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ بِدُونِ وَاسَطَةِ وَكَمَا يُكَلِّمُ اللَّهُ النَّاسَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فَيَسْمَعُونَ كَلَامَهُ بِلَا وَاسَطَةِ 
وكما يكلم آدم يوم القيامة فيقول الله تعالى يوم القيامة يا آدم يسمعه الصوت so Sheikh Abdul Aziz Rajihi Hafidh Allah Ta'ala said very important the second type of speech of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is the speech of Allah the Almighty without any intermediary between the listener and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala so that's also both of those are the speech of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. When you listen to someone recite the Quran, that's with an intermediary. That means that person is reading the speech of Allah, and you're listening to the speech of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala through that person. The second type is where mubashirin, that a person is listening to the kalam of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the speech of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, without any intermediary or anyone to come between them. Similar to the way Jibreel listened to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the, similar to the way Musa alayhi salatu wasalam listened to the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any intermediary. And similar to the way our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam uh, on the day, on the, the night of Ma'raj, the ascending, that he listened to the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any intermediary, without any wasata. And similar to the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will speak to the people on the day of judgment without any intermediary. And they will hear his speech without any intermediary. And similar to the way that Adam alayhi salatu wa salam will speak will be spoken to uh, on the day of judgment. And Allah the Almighty will say on the day of judgment, O oh Adam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will speak to Adam alayhi salatu wa salam on the day of judgment. And this is a, a sound hadith. Uh, Jews min hadith, dhakaruhu imam Bukhari, bi sigata jazm. So Imam, Baba, uh, Imam Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned this hadith, the hadith about Adam alayhi salatu salam speaking, on the, uh, being spoken to by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. So all of those are ways in which our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to the angel Jibreel or those prophets alayhi afdal salatu salam without any intermediary. In those situations, they were spoken to directly by Allah Azza wa Jal. So those are the two types the Shaykh mentioned. And in the next uh, lesson, we'll go more into depth, bringing some of the benefits from some of our ulama of Ahl Sunnah with regards to these issues about the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Salaf of this Ummah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.